Hey guys, welcome back to Surviving Mars! We are on the red planet because we have finished the mystery! No longer do we have the green planet to worry about, but we have a new, a new problem to worry about. The problem here is the fact that we've got all of these starving colonists, and this, this worries me. This worries me quite a bit. Now, technically, we could class this entire playthrough as done now. Which, we could technically just, bit, like, wash our hands of it and, and say we're done. But I think we need to have a few more things that we could do here. Like... I've not even unlocked half the research tree. I think we want to do that. Um, I want to get more food, more science underway. I think I want a Martian University going up here. So there's a few things that I want. The first thing that I'm going to like take proper note of is the fact that these, are, these guys over here are the ones that are really suffering from the food. So I think I might try and put down a brand new dome. Now, what type of domes do I actually... Ooh, wonders. Got artificial sun. Okay, yeah, we remember about that. We will do that in a bit. Uh, these, these domes. I've got so many domes that need unlocking and stuff like that. So let's... Uh, Let's come into the research. Let's immediately queue up this architectural wonder piece, this multi-spiral architecture here. Uh, that should be eaten through in about six souls. Uh, and in, in the time that we're doing that, I would like to encourage more scientific growth. The next thing is, where are we going to put this multi-spiral architecture? Yeah, I think in here would be the best for making lots and lots of food. I'm literally going to fill it up with all farms and science places. Maybe we'll have a university in there, but I don't think so. The next thing I'm trying to figure out is where I'm going to put this artificial sun. Now, obviously, I want to have a dome here for the university, and then these can all work together. I th I'm thinking maybe we should have it over here. If I uh, open this up and go to the wonder, artificial sun, it does appear to take a lot of... A lot of power, a lot of re uh, region up here, and I'm not sure exactly where I want to put it. I mean, all of this, this, this possibly seems like the best place here. Should we go with this? Let's go with that right there, okay? And with that, I'm not sure if like we want to take a power line from here. I, I have no idea how this works. If I'm to be honest with you, I have no idea. 200 concrete, 300 metals, and 300 polymers. I don't, I don't know if I've got that, guys. Let's, uh, let's have a look here. No, I don't have that. This is going to um, start. Well, I've got the concrete, and I've possibly got the metals, but it's definitely going to eat into my polymers and stuff. Wow. I will bring you back when I figure out what's going on with the supply lines here. It, it should all just be running in. It should be fine. We've got a lot of buildings not working. Why is this? What's going on? I've just suddenly had a problem everybody is starving and they're not working here because they've got the wait for food uh, is, is that the same everywhere is everywhere just waiting for food uh, so we've got we've got to get these food things working we have got to get these food things working so you might be wondering why I've uh, decided to do this artificial sun over doing anything else. Uh, mainly it's because of that power shortage at night. Look, if we can get all of these solar panels around this bad boy when it's up and running, then we should be able to keep ourselves a high and mighty during any power lows. The food is kind of sorting itself out. You can see that we're always very close to being harvested just as my guys start to starve. So uh, I'm not sure whether that's good or bad. Where are these guys going? What 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 just happened there? Oh, he's going for the food instead. Could it not be taken inside to somewhere to eat? Uh, is that is that really how bad we've got here? People are going to just totally steal the food off the side before it's even been cooked. Guys, guys, you you got you got to learn to to like savor your food better, you know. So somehow I've achieved space communism. I have no idea what I did to achieve that. Let's go and have a look here. It just suddenly popped up in the corner of my, my box. I'm like, what? What have I done? What have I done? Uh, mortality of a kind. There we go. Reach 250 colonists. Seriously, is that all I needed to do? What, what's the next milestone on the uh, on the population here? I bet, it, I bet it's going to be relatively low. Oh no, it's a thousand colonists. That's a little bit of a, a little bit of a shame, but that would have been good. We've also got like some money um, money uh, targets to go for here. Um, we've got some buildings and a number of rockets that we land. Uh, maybe this is stuff to look into. Reach 100 colonists in a single dome. Mm -mm -mm. Are we even close on any of these? I suppose this one is. Uh, this is like the most well-packed one. We'll, we'll have to see what we can do about that. But these are, of we course, all shortage. small domes. Yes, I, I know we've got food shortages. We're trying to work on it. We really are. But we are uh, maybe a day off of getting this extra, extra dome done. Yeah, yeah. 
So last time this one got, har this one got harvested, Amazing. we had over 200 starving colonists. We've only got 150 this time, so that's pretty good, right? That that seems like a good thing. And literally, you may guys, you guys may have just noticed it pop in. We've got a new dome all of a sudden. Yeah. Oh man, look at the size of it. But also, yeah, look at the size of it. Where are we gonna put it? Oh, I don't know. Um, I, I think I think here is gonna be great. It says I'm overlapping the deposit. If it's just that concrete, I'm really not bothered even in the slightest so i'm just going to pop that down like that we're going to have to wait for this to get built it is half as powerful as the oldie artificial sun over here it's going to take a little bit of time but this has got like normal uh, priority on it whereas this one over here i put it down to lowest so i didn't like completely empty myself of all good things uh but i'm gonna empty myself of all good things over here hopefully the shuttles are gonna go and do their do their stuff do their thing shake the things around and move bits and bobs mostly uh looks like metals and polymers are what we're in need of here in fact what are my pot what is my polymer situation at right now low my polymer situation is a very low this is gonna uh this is actually gonna impact a few things here let's go and have a look at our singular polymer factory is this all we've got we're making 2.4.2 uh, per day but over here we also have uh polymer factory no one doing any work because we turned it off because everyone was doing electronics and i think we're all right putting people in on electronics somewhere up here there is actually Actually, something that I want to um, ex uh, sorry invest in a little bit more. Metals and concretes cost less, excluding domes. That's a little bit of a shame, actually. I kind of wanted those to be good but we'll, we'll, we'll grab that anything that costs us a little bit less uh, I was kind of hoping it would be polymers as well as the actual sh picture has polymers on it I mean that would have been nice wouldn't it but you know there we go we're just kind of stuck with this as it is uh, I guess I'll bring you back when these guys are up and running we can start just like filling all these sides up with farms and then having a small selection of stuff in the middle right I've noticed we've got a uh a lot of available funding so let's do a thing let's come down here let's grab ourselves a cargo rocket polymers are the things that i said i was short of so let's just literally fill the entire thing up with polymers there we go cargo space was actually the thing we ran out of there not money that's pretty good let's launch that out and send it back i'm not sure where we're gonna actually touch down obviously we've mainly got fuel consumption being met full production sorry being made over there maybe that would be the place that we do it let's have a look at the overlaps here uh yeah yeah i could go down with putting my putting my rocket down over here it should allow everybody to get involved and make sure that it all empties out nicely what have we got we got we got 29 percent. so i will bring you guys back when that that is ready to roll. Has this just been harvested? Beautiful. Is this one just about to get harvested? No, we're a little way off of that. Uh, I'm going to stop talking so I can actually cut. <laughs> Okay, we've got a rocket coming down and ready to go. Let's pop him over here and see what happens. We've got an auto save. I've got a feeling this is actually going to uh, dust up my thing here. Renegade stole resources. Oh, man, that's the first time that's ever happened to me. Am I actually going to have to build something a little bit stronger? I suppose the fact that we've had people starving all across my colony for quite a little while now might have something to do with why we've got some we troubles going shortage. down. Yeah, I know we've got a food shortage. That's what I'm trying to build. That You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cancel this. Let's get all these goods into here. Then we'll move the artificial sun over there once this is done, hopefully. Uh, let's have a look. Where is... Oh, it's just outside of the, the main place we want to put things. So uh, we need to get all the drones coming from here over this way. Is that going to be a thing? Maybe, maybe. People do seem to be doing and shifting around a little bit more. Maybe they're doing stuff. Maybe they're just repairing stuff. I'm not entirely certain, but I'd really like everything moved from here to over here. Is this guy already ready to go? He's been immediately fooled, fueled but the polymers need to be emptied out from here. 85, it's sounding pretty good though. It's sounding pretty good. Still got those starving colonists. Really need to try and deal with that. I'm wondering whether the, ooh, look, yeah, look at that. The amount of drones that I'm using for other jobs are holding me back here. That, that could be a problem. Okay, I'm gonna let this guy take a bunch of exports. When hopefully all of the polymers get emptied out, he'll be full and then we can buy ourselves a bunch of metals as that appears to be the next little bit of a choking point here. It uh, turns out this maybe maybe didn't need to uh, to knock this down but it's definitely helped quite a bit getting this up look at that 83 out of 150 that's pretty good uh he's finally empty do we how many how many of the rare metals do we have from moving around yeah we've actually got quite a lot so that that's pretty good let's just wait for this guy to fill up here and then we'll send him home 
Okay, here we go. Godspeed, Asimov. I will see you on the return. Maybe we should have... Oh, no, because if we uh, stick that little recycle button on the go, it actually ends up sending them back without doing anything. Okay, so uh, without picking up any uh, cargo. Let's try and put this back like that, and hopefully all the goods that are in there are, yeah, actually part of the construction now. That's good. The only thing we are missing is some metals. That'll be fine. We're making metals all the time, and also we could buy some more if really need be. All right, we got some money. That means we can order ourselves a new rocket, cargo rocket. Let's just get a bunch of metals this time. Oh, and while we're at it, let's get some food up into the colony as well. Let's get 50 of those and then just max out on metals. That should work out pretty well there. So we're short of metals there. We're short of metals here. Is that going to be enough, an extra 70? Yeah, if, if this is the dome that takes priority, as I do want it to be, that should hopefully get there. Or oh, starving colonists, 30. But hopefully... Hopefully we should be able to sort this out to make this all a farming region here. Really worried about the food situation. Oh, look at that number just spike up there. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to try and sort something about it a little bit. Water shortage, water surplus. Okay, I was worried there for a second. I really was. Comes Asimov back down. Hopefully he's going to get us all the materials we need. He's going to be landing. He's going to be dropping off a whole a bunch of metals here. Let's watch this happen. Anybody? Anybody going to come and do the job? Look at that. Away the metals go. And they are literally going straight over here on this pile. And we should get 150 by the time they're done. Hopefully, if everything works out here. And then we can start thinking about where things like farms are going to go. I'm noticing we're running out of concrete. What's going on on our concrete production? Production is this is this literally all the production we've got going here? Okay, that that could explain a few things. Let's go like this one here, and then try to do something similar there. Okay, yeah, that that works out for me. Um, power cables. Let's get this going like this, and then this one over here can also do similar. Okay, that's that's my concrete sorted out again now. That's pretty good. Uh, 150. Oh, it's so close. It's so close. We're going to watch this just t start to tick over. I think we might. I think we might. Is the Asimov, like, ready to go? He's got 40 fuel, 40 exports, and nothing else upon him. Okay, be gone with you. Be gone. All right, let's get back over here and see what's going on. Has this guy only got two drones? That's sad. That is sad. 140 out of 150. Oh, it's so close. It's so close, but we're going to have to wait a little bit longer. A colonist has died. Oh no, a colonist has died. I bet he's starved. It's gotta be, gotta be. Uh, not looking for a job, cause of death, starving. Ah, uh, that, that's actually pretty bad. Talking of pretty bad, what is going on here? Let's, let's bring you back down to normal speed. Uh, I think you guys are trying to go for food that doesn't, on, doesn't actually exist any longer. You've got a little bit of time before you can even use that. I think, I think simulation may have been broken right there. Uh, but over here we have got... There's uh, seven bits of iron, uh, iron? Yeah, why not? Seven bits of iron left to go. But thankfully, the Asimov here coming down with an entire uh, cargo bay full of the stuff. Uh, 80, I believe, is on the go there. Yeah, payload, 80. So that's pretty good. We are starting to run out of fuel a little bit now. That is uh, definitely something after three rockets coming up and down. We're uh, definitely starting to lose out here. But it should be pretty good. All right, let's let's get the, uh, the time going pretty fast here and see if they are going to finally finish this dome. Let's uh, put that on the highest priority. I put it on a slightly lower priority because it was usurping all the all the metals from over here, as you can see, and we really don't want that to be a thing, so let's just let these guys do their jobs and do we their businesses. Yeah, we, 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 we got some problems. Shortage. I know this, I know this. Let's shortage. get a power cable going from here down to here, and because of redundancies, let's do the same from here down to here. Nice. And I would like to do the same same with a life support pipes. Let's do that and then hopefully at the same time over this way. We could probably attach some more things up this way and just make sure that we are uber super looped here. Let's let's do that actually. Let's go there and look this this bit here doesn't need much at all. Let's drop this into there. Okay, cool. I noticed I've got two water evaporators and our water shortage is about three. That's not great, but we'll try and do something about that. I mean, we could literally just drop some evaporators is in here right look at look at this uh, let's drop this one here and then hopefully this one can go in over this way I think it was about there okay that should work out pretty well Asimov is ready to leave yes indeed he is uh, actually ready to leave go 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 we have go a food shortage um, 
One resource stolen from doors, that's no problem. Got a few starving colonists. Uh, so, so who's, why are you stealing metal here? What, what's going on? Do we have to build a security depot here? I've, I've been putting off doing it for some time, but if we need to, we need to. I can definitely destroy this lake here and put one up. It would be the first time we'd actually need one. Uh, starving colonists are up and down, that's that's fine. Okay, so with our new colony here, let's think. I'm gonna make this, li this central bit here the living space and we'll start building farms up and around like this so that's a good one we will also need to have a look in here uh, an apartment block of course we need an apartment block we will also want maybe the Mars University but I'm actually thinking of diner infirmary how does this normally go we then have an art workshop down the front here like so and some sort of statue in the middle of course why would it not be a statue to my glory to my glory what spies do we actually have on the go here water reclamation i mean that's all right i suppose but really not what we're after okay we need to do some sortings on this dome we don't want any children or youth in this dome no 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 i don't really mind about seniors or anything like that let's come back specialization we do not want geologists we do not want officers maybe engineer i'm not that bothered but i don't want a scientist though let's apply that as well and come back anything else i care about no, let's leave that like that. Let's leave that. Out. Is this going to fill up with people? It has immediately. Oh, look at that! Immediately started to fill up with people. This should be soybeans, not quinoa. Uh, we've got people starving again already. That's good, I suppose. Somehow, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, food will get moved around. So we're going to have more people here than can actually work. Okay, let's get another farm down. That's that's good. I like this multiple farms are on the go is this gonna actually oh we've got to wait for the concrete of course which uh, doesn't appear to exist are these up and running yet no not yet and I don't know what the shortcoming is uh, we'll try and figure that out at some point but for now we'll just let them build everything and see what's going on BAM okay hopefully this is now gonna solve my fooding issues if, if it could that would be pretty sound that would be sound so I've just gone round, all the ones that have got soybeans that are close to 100%, I've put potatoes in, like this one here, I was actually at 90, it's just clicked up to 100 because it's done the soybeans, and then I'm going to put potatoes in because that's a higher food a yield there. I think I've done similar over here, actually I did a little bit of a silly and managed to overwrite the uh, the farm produce that was on the go already, but that, that's okay, that's no a big problem there. Uh, soybeans 100%, let's put some potatoes in, let's really get this food really, really cranking out. These guys are just going to be left on soy soybeans beans because you can see their soil quality is a pretty terrible what about you how are you doing you're on soybeans but you're also making wheat wheat is interesting but not the choice that we're after here no thanks okay that should sort us out oh gosh look at the food look at the food but that should sort us out some problems here i think oh look these guys literally just harvested so that that's good right yeah maybe your shower incoming okay so i've been looking at what what i've got going on the science here and there's actually quite a lot of stuff that i want uh, but i'm also noticing that i'm not doing too well on the science funding here so i've got a lot of money let's outsource a little bit here uh, and we're gonna go for 10 yeah let's go for 10 all right cool that that should be pretty good we spent some uh, money there we spent a lot of money there but the outsourcing should work out pretty well for us let's close this down and let it tick over still waiting for all these things to happen mm -hmm. oh renegades are stealing my electronics i'm not sure about that at all okay that is one that one is the uh technology that um, enables us to use less uh, metals and concrete that's pretty good there that is definitely the one that i'm after for doing different buildings here especially as i'm now doing farms farms on quite a large degree 24 how many do we need in each of these let's have a look we've got people around everywhere uh are we even slightly vacant work slots one i saw something just now that makes me worry that is a bit of a water shortage is that because it's night time let's wait and see in the daytime when the sun arises if we get more more water i would like more water if at all possible if not we're gonna have to start figuring out about what we're gonna do with our water situation here and what's just happened to take the water away from us that's that's one. Oh look we got deep water extraction as a 
bit of science that just ticked in there. I've been what kind of working on and off with that in the background. Yeah, the water's actually gone properly down. Uh, what's turned off? Let's let's try and find out. Do we have anything here that says building's not working? Okay, down here, uh, that's not working because of a lack of metals. That's fine. That's not working because of people. And this over here is not working again because of people. None of these are my water situation. So I'm gonna have to try and figure out how we can fix this. Look at that. Is that one not even being tapped right now? Okay, that's good. Look at oh, look at all the water. Water extractor. Just gonna clip it on like that. Hopefully the uh, the the drones that are here will just go along and make this a beautiful 4.8 concrete needed. Wow, they really meant 20%, didn't they? They're they're, they're not gonna give any quarter on that. Oh no. Uh, this guy comes down to fix it up. This is looking pretty good. Have we still got the beagle just kind of like ticking over here, keeping this keeping this area safe? What what a guy. What a guy. This puzzle is not exploitable with our current technology. No, not right now, but I'm sure eventually we're going to get it. Okay, so that kind of helped out. Has it helped out? Water surplus, zero shortage. Mm, eight. I don't, I don't like that. What's going on here? Yeah, we're still not producing enough water. I mean, do we go down to this one now? Uh, maybe. Can this reach it? It can. Okay, water extractor gets put down like that and then we want to go pipes and power need to be a thing maybe we could have used a, a tunnel for the amount of reach we've got going on here but I'll, I'll live with it I'll live with it okay that's looking pretty good let's go see if we've got some food going on up here this is this is what we're waiting for I think today we're just gonna wait for this food to spit out and then we'll call it good and right okay so there goes a one bunch of food let's see if we can get this colonist starving number down to zero is this one about to go as well i found some anomalies really you don't say oh it's because of the meteor impacts that's pretty cool though that is cool let's go and get these and get ourselves a little bit more science on the go it's what it's all about you know it's what oh, out well do dodging and diving dodging and diving we've still got 26 starving scientists this makes me sad colonists they're not scientists they're colonists uh, i suppose a few of them are scientists so we could keep an eye out for that Whoa, watch it there buddies watch it i think we're doing okay though yeah into into the crater <laughs> that's that's pretty cool i like that i like that a great deal okay let's see what happens when this tops out here anomaly bam analyzed. anomaly analyzed anomaly but we didn't found. learn anything and we also found another one over there okay that's cool let's have a look in here no we, we're getting close though stem cell but you know what i want this farm of tech to go up higher let's get rid of stem cell reconstruction farms hydroponic farms and fungal farms uh, all need less workers i think that's a, a great idea there perhaps we can start getting a bunch of evaporators but i have just done the deep water extraction so that that might be a thing there uh there's there's a whole bunch of stuff i want to work on here actually a whole bunch of stuff Oh, we've had a suicide. Our first suicide of the group. Oh, man, that is low sanity. It's got to be because of the food, right? Working in dark hours. Oh, oh, okay. Well, that's a thing. Working in dark hours. Struggle of the sanity. Struggle to survive. Severely stressed. Anomaly found. Man, that's, that's, that's bad, actually. That is really bad. I didn't think I'd ever get to the situation where my colonies were killing themselves. My colonists, sorry, were killing themselves. Um, but that's, that's what happens when you've got no food. No food. Uh, I suppose I could have ordered some more food, but I was going to come back here and see if there's anything else. Uh, deep metal physics research is underway, but is there anything else that does us food? Give us a sec. Okay, so by the looks of it, no, there is nothing that I really want to go for the food here. But I do want to increase my shuttle cargo capacity by three. So we'll put that in there as well. Whilst, oh man, we've got renegades popping up all over the place. Suddenly, suddenly it's time to start thinking Meteor about incoming. policing system. Uh, meteors in Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, is it, is it too late? Oh, it's too late. It's too late. Okay, where's the Beagle 2? We need to bring you down here and let that be a thing to fix. Come on, Beagle 2. Yeah, here he goes. Here he goes. He's been, he's been hanging out there for a little while now. So he's kind of glad to just get moving, I should imagine. I, I would imagine so anyway. Uh, right, you. Get back to doing that. And you guys, let's let's just go be safe back over here again. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Let's just carry on going here. Not so interested in the number of uh, renegades we've got. Hopefully, we can just kind of chill them all out again afterwards. Get the get the whole sanity of the place back down Anomaly to zero. Found. Anomalies are being found. That's good. But I really, really want to just carry on. 
uh, analyzing them all so we can get all this science. I mean, coming. Research complete. That, that's cool. That's cool. Coming around and scanning stuff during a meteor storm definitely it seems to be the key here. Getting yourselves whole bunches of science done. Uh, probably even would work quite well as a replacement for scientists. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, this is being filled up here pretty well. Okay. Just, just top that last one up so we can go up to the next one. Sweet. How much longer do we have? Six hours of this meteor storm. It's looking good though. We've been generally pretty good at avoiding the actual meteors. That was pretty close, but I think we'll be all right. None of these strikes actually seem to want to come anywhere near my stuff, so I'm, I'm kind of happy with that. Kind of happy. Oh, look, where's this shuttle going? Hey, buddy, what you doing? Oh, he's just dropping stuff off over there. So this we one just got analyzed. Shortage. Another food shortage. No, no, no. We've, we've got farms. We've got farms. What are you on about? Have these guys done any harvesting yet? Uh, let's have a look. No, not yet, but they are on their way. We've got food lying around now so I kind of am a little bit dubious of the fact that they these guys are saying food is an issue indeed look at how close these guys, these guys are gonna like get food at midnight though uh, you guys may remember last time I was talking about how I think these have been tied up with the day cycle I have reasserted that claim I still think this is the the case I, th I thought maybe not because of the fact that it like waited a little while to tick over actually now now it's not as well because it was a much closer to midnight uh, so we've got ourselves some more uh, science done there. Anything else to see around here? Not by the looks of it. Okay, so we're going to put Curiosity. Just, just pop her over there. Seems like the good way. Let's then click over here to have a look at our domes and wait for this food to come spilling out. We are very close. Very, uh, very close. Is this, how about this one? Is this, this ready to spew forth its food? Let's do it, man. Let's do it. I mean, we've got some starving colony. In fact, they're not complaining about starving anymore. So is that really a problem? I do not know. We have a food shortage. But they are complaining about it. Is it is it all here? They are all here. So this food is just about to tick. Okay, look at all the food. Look at all the food. That was potatoes. This is why we were doing potatoes. Like, what, are you guys just literally running this all over here for no apparent reason? You know what? This is not a place where we want food to be stored. Uh, food, food. Thanks. If you could, not interested. There's there's no one over here to enjoy it. Why why would we do that? Why would we do that? Uh, so that should now just start getting food out everywhere renegades we're really gonna have to start dealing with renegades they were not a not a problem at the beginning of this episode but now they are and with that i'm gonna say thank you very much for joining me for this episode i will see you next time when we're gonna deal with the renegades and we're gonna carry on building some of these here wonders the wonder that we put shortage. down right at the beginning uh is on its way we've got domes of power shortages we've got power shortages are you kidding me why has the power shortage started well i will see you then when we're going to figure out all of that. Bye!